Hey guys, what's going on? Retro here, and I'm back with not another TF2 commentary. And today I'll be bringing you guys the second episode of my SFM tutorial series. And today we're going to be primarily focusing on the utilization of the Steam Workshop, specifically for Source Filmmaker. Now, a few of you who already are familiar with Source Filmmaker or are a veteran or just watching this video for fun, you may or may not know about the workshop, and maybe if so, this video isn't for you. But I cannot recall how many times a friend of mine or fellow SFMer has asked me if there's a fix for an item, an item's broken, um, is there an easier way to paint something, or I've heard like I'm using hat proxy and it's not working when there's easily a script in the uh, Source Filmmaker Workshop that will solve every one of those problems. So today I'll be taking you guys through the Source Filmmaker Workshop and all the different problems that it will solve. So starting off, before we actually go into the workshop, there is a few file changes that I want to do that everybody should do, is which I want you to go to your program files wherever your Steam is located. You want to go to Steam, go to Steam Apps, Common, and then you want to scroll down to Source Filmmaker, go to Game, User Mod, and then you want to find the Game Info text file. Now you want to open this with whatever text program you want to use. I'm using just normal notepad. Now these um, lines of code start slashed out. This is what we want to look for, search paths here. So these are all the search paths it will look for for all its models. And now I did move this around because it was previously here, but you always want to have game info path on top here and then workshop to make the best use of that you can of the workshop items that you download. You want to remove this, cut it, however you want to move it, and make a space above the TF2 and or just TF and TF movies. And you want to put the workshop above everything right under game info underscore path. Because whenever you download a file from the workshop, it you want Source Filmmaker to be registered so it will go to that material and it will go to that material and first over the TF2 and TF2 movies materials that are broken that you're trying to fix. So it will always go to the workshop items and materials that you downloaded instead of the broken textures that you're trying to fix. So basically, after you do that, you can just save that, close it, and you're good. Now we can actually move on to the workshop. Now let's, oh, I do not have the workshop open yet. All right, so you can easily go to the workshop either I'm using a custom overlay for Steam right now, which is Metro for Steam. <laughs> and uh, I have the easily accessible button here to go to the workshop. But if you don't, you can just go to your home of where the community activity is. You can go to Source Filmmaker and then just go to the workshop tab. Now here we are in the Source Filmmaker workshop and you can see all the most popular items of this week. But what we're going to be looking for, let's say, so starting off here, for example, for an example, excuse me, is let's say a friend contacts me and says an item is broken, I'm trying to paint it for a loadout, and I can't. So basically what you can do here, you can literally just look up the word fix, and it will bring up all the fixes for the different files. Now, the workshop has tons of things offered, such as you can see here, maps, particles, scripts, materials, textures, sessions, shots, and animations. And you can select the different universe you want to be in for whatever you use Source Filmmaker for, whether it's Half-Life, TF2, Left 4 Dead, Portal, or Counter-Strike, or any of the other um, models or files that you put into Source Filmmaker or are supported by it. So let's say we have the uh, North Pole uh, fleece, and it's black and we're trying to paint it for somebody's loadout, or we're trying to paint it for an animation or poster. So all we have to do is just download this by pressing the subscribe button. There's no download. You just press it and it will pop up in your source filmmaker. Now this is going to pop up because I already um, have it downloaded. But this is what, is what is going to pop up when you download any file from the source filmmaker workshop. It's going to talk about download new f workshop files and it will show all the files downloaded or either you have selected. And you can either check it to download it now when the program closes. So I'm just going to download it now. So there we go, all files downloaded from the workshop. And then what you normally want to do is want to go into console, type in mat, underscore reload all materials, which will be listed right there. Just wait a few seconds and it should load. And we'll just wait a few seconds. There we go. And then what we can do, we can go back into this and whatever file or model we are trying to fix or cosmetic should now be fixed. And all we have to do is just scroll through the timeline 
and it should be fixed. For example, if we had that north, uh, oh, is that north polar fleece? All right. Anyway, um, that is one way you can use the workshop. Another way is a script. So let's go back to the workshop here. Let's look up docs. Boy, that should just be enough. So this is probably my favorite item for Source Filmmaker, which is Doc's color script. Now I've had people contact me saying like I'm using Hat Proxy and it's not working. Now Hot Proxy does occasionally work, but that is a thing of the past. Now we just all use the automatic script. So like normal, you just press subscribe, it will pop up here, and then all we have to do is just add some model to it. So let's add the barrette or something from the spy art. Right, let's do. Let's add the barrette. And there we go. So it's right there. All we have to do, right click, just go to rig and set up. We'll just, you know, we'll paint it. We'll paint it purple. There we go. Done. Painted purple. We don't have to go through hat proxy. We just use a script downloaded easily from the workshop. And that's pretty much it. The workshop has an unlimited amount of things. And every day it grows. I remember when I joined Source Filmmaker, there was only about, I think, two pages of workshop items let's just go back a page here let's see how many pages of workshop items there are now i'm gonna guess there's let's see hundreds or so maybe 100 there's 121 so it's grown a lot since uh i've been around and source filmmaker is in beta now it's been in beta ever since i started which has basically been forever and i don't expect sfm to get an update soon or any time i've never remembered when SFM has actually gotten an update, so us source filmmakers or er, ers or whatever you want to call us, um, we have to be self-sufficient. So we mostly rely on the workshop and each other to fix models and files and to create tons of amazing things. Like I don't know what this is. That looks pretty cool. Um, there's Linkle. I don't know what that is, but you know, there's just tons of different stuff. And if you ever need a fix, just go to the workshop. There's probably already something there, and. Yeah, this workshop, I cannot talk about enough how many great things there are. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know if it's helpful to you down in the comment section below. And this is Retro, signing off.